Hi, I'm Lou Ann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I'm here with Kerr Wiggins, the Senior Vice President of Powertrain for Continent L. You guys have a new uh, turbocharger coming out. We do have a new turbocharger coming out. Um, if you look at the trends in the North American marketplace of downsized engines, fuel economy, and, and improved emissions, uh, we'll see turbochargers increase significantly fourfold over the next five years in the North American market. And globally, they're also significantly increasing. So we saw it as an opportunity to enter into the market of turbocharging. So most of the time, people who would get a six-cylinder will look at a four-cylinder turbocharger. You have a turbocharger that will get three-cylinder turbocharger. That's right. That's right. When we look at significant downsizing, this uh, three-cylinder engine you're referring to is a one-liter, which is a very small engine for the North American marketplace. It's a three-cylinder, one-liter. At that displacement, it gives very good fuel economy to restore the power to what people are used to in a more of a four-cylinder application. The turbocharger gives that power back. If you take a, a traditional engine and then downsize it, put direct injection technology and turbocharged technology, you can get 20 to 25 percent fuel economy improvement. That's this. impressive. What's the difference between using a turbocharger on the C-Max and, or Ford using an EcoBoost? And Ford uses the brand name EcoBoost for a downsized engine with direct injection and turbocharging. So the EcoBoost uh, engines for Ford have turbocharging on them. And we're providing the turbocharger to one of those EcoBoost engines. This happens to be the smallest Ford EcoBoost engine, which is the one liter three-cylinder. What we decided to do is if we can get the thermodynamics uh, correct on a very small turbo, then it's more easily scalable up for larger applications. So we wanted to smart start at the very small end of the market or the smallest end of the market. Additionally, with the downsizing trend, we see the growth in that segment more strongly than in the bigger, more traditional turbocharger segments. Yeah, because you see a lot of, co of uh, these size cars sold, the small, the mid-size compacts. Yes. And yet you're not seeing as much of the direct injection, eco-boost kind of stuff that, that could happen because they, they don't have that turbocharger available to That's them. true. It, it hasn't happened yet, but it will happen. We'll see um, growth rates that are very significant over the next few years. We'll, we'll have over... Uh, in the North American marketplace, 25% will be turbocharged direct injected engines by the 2020 time frame. So it's a fairly uh, large and significant growth rate, mainly because of our fuel economy improvements. We're forced to almost double fuel economy. So this is one response to that. Craig Wiggins, thank you very much. Thank you very much.